Uh, Paitatra is very important uh, economically. It, you know, if you lose um, your plants to Paitatra like this, it's uh, totally useless for processing. And uh, what we want is plants like this, 100% of them to be productive. A farmer can lose anywhere from a small percentage to 50% or more of this field. And uh, to the farmer that loses 50% uh, or 100% of his field, that's a big loss. We'd like to minimize it to where there's no Phytophthora or a smaller percentage. Here we're looking at a healthy chili plant. You can see uh, the number of chili pods on it, okay? And uh, versus over here, a diseased chili plant. And one thing you will notice between the two, definitely uh, differences in vegetative growth and the number of pod, uh, meaning fruit. Uh, you can see a lot of green fruit on the healthy one and red one. So one thing that Phytophthora does is actually speeding up the ripening of the fruit, even if they're not mature. Now, how do we get to this compared to this? I'm going to show you what Phytophthora does into the root. So here's a healthy plant. If I peel the root here, you can see really bright whitish tissue. Relatively, if you compare it to the diseased one, you can see it already visually that it is brown. It may be even desiccated. So with this browning of the root, so you have what we call a root dysfunction. So the water is now moving up so this plant gonna weld. So you may get the root dysfunction, you may also get what we call stem dysfunction, meaning sometimes the root may not be affected, but the stem may be because you have rain splashing, the spore of a pathogen into the stem, causing it to rot too. So we have two issues in any chili field, root or stem dysfunction. 